So I'm going to have a go at the next codility exercise now. It's called min absum of two. Let's get straight into this. Okay, let A be a non-empty array consisting of n integers. The absolute sum of two for a pair of indices P and Q is the absolute value of AP plus AQ, where zero is less than or equal to P, is less than or equal to Q, is less than N. For example, in the array one, four, minus three, it has pairs of indices zero, 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 one, zero, two, one, 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 two, and two, two. The absolute sum for the pair zero, zero is one plus one is two. The sum for the pair zero, one is one plus four is five. Zero, two is one minus three is m minus two, but the absolute value is two. One and one is four plus four is eight. One and two is four minus three is one. And two and two is minus three minus three. Absolute value is six. So write a function given a non-empty array A consisting of N integers returns the minimal absolute sum of two for any pair of indices in this array. For example, given that array, the function should return one, given the array minus eight, four, five, ten, minus 10 and three, the function should return three because minus eight plus five is the, is the minimum value. Okay, write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. N is an integer within the range of one and a hundred thousand. Each element of array A is an integer within the range of minus a billion and a billion. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is sort the array. So in the second example they gave us, this would be the array sorted. I'm going to have a start index, which I'm going to start by looking at the start of the array, and an end index, which I'll start looking at the end of the array. I'll have a minimum absolute sum value, and I'll start that off as a large integer so that any value that we see is going to be less than it. And what I'm going to do is look at the absolute sum of the values at the start and the end index. If the, if that value is smaller than the minimum absolute sum, I'll set the minimum absolute sum to be that. Then whichever absolute value of these two is higher, so in the case of minus 10 and 5, I'm going to update the index. So if minus 10 is the absolute value of minus 10 is higher than five. So I'm gonna update the start index and move it forward one. Then I'll look at the absolute value of those two. If it's smaller, I'll set the minimum absolute value. If not, I'll just ignore it. But then I'll look at the absolute value again of minus eight and five. Minus eight will be bigger. So I'll move the start index forward again. I'll repeat the comparison to see if we've got a minimum absolute value. This time the absolute value of five is greater than three. So I'll move the end index back one. I'll do it again, four is greater than three, move the end index back one. And then they meet, so I'll look at three and three and then whichever one I move doesn't matter when they cross over. So when the end index is less than the start index, I'll terminate the loop and then I'll return the minimum absolute sum. Okay, so first I'll just prepare the class. Okay, so there's a class with the second example in the uh, exercise description. So first things first, I'm gonna sort the array. And I'm gonna have a start index 
which is going to start off at the start index zero and an end index which is going to start off at the end a length minus one and then i'm going to say a min abs sum which we're trying to find and i'm going to start that off at integer max value so that anything is less than it and then i'm going to say well start index is less than or equal to end index because we can have two indexes the same now i'm going to check the minimum absolute sum at start index and end index and if it's less than the minimum we've seen so far i'll set the minimum we've seen so far to be it so abs sum equals abs a at start index plus a at end index if this absolute sum is less than min abs sum we'll set min abs sum to be abs sum now I just need to update the indexes so if math.abs a at start index is greater than math.abs a at end index in that case I'm going to move the start index forward otherwise I'm going to move the end index back and finally we return min abs sum and I think that's it so the correct answer for this one was three uh, I've got an error somewhere um, just a bracket there so the correct answer to this one was three that's right and the other example they gave us was one four minus three and the correct answer was one that seems to be right so i'm going to submit that i just need to import arrays On the tests they should pass okay so I'll submit this and see how it does and 100% so that's my solution to minimum absolute sum of two on codility thanks for watching